Welcome to the Zesty Ginger Podcast. We are Megan and Dr. Alex. We are here for transformation, yours, ours, and the collective, personal and professional for practitioners, but not just any transformation, compassionate transformation. Because between the two of us, we have seemed to have done things the painful way. Let our pitfalls become your stepping stones. We aren't afraid to share our raw and vulnerable truths in order to help you transform your thinking, your body, your heart, and your soul. Combining 15 years of functional medicine with brain-based habit change to lead you to the best life possible in a compassionate way. Compassion, yes, yet plan to roll up your sleeves. Transformation requires your participation. And a quick reminder, this information is not meant to diagnose, manage, or treat disease. Always consult with your doctor, not this doctor, before making changes. Now let's get into the episode. Hello there, friends. It is Megan, your compassionate mindset ninja and friend. And I'm happy to guide you through this series. How's the series been going? We are on part seven. Woo, part seven. If you're just jumping in here... Go back to the beginning. There's a reason. There's a purpose. And there's a workbook. And there's a thing to sign up for. And there's things you win. So that's all I'm going to say. Go back and do it. (laughs) What's even more important, did you hear about the moon? Did you all all hear about what's happening with the moon? Did you hear about the... Here. Did you hear? (laughs) I am here to tell you. Did you hear? Did you hear about how the moon cuts his hair? Eclipse it. (laughs) gosh (laughs) every time I tell one of these silly jokes I laugh and then I go I think I'll be the only one laughing but that's your dad joke for today let's do this so today let's talk about your values and your needs and whether they match so your values are like a compass and this tells us it tells us which direction to go the thing is, and when your values are in conflict, it's like having parts. So part of me wants this, part of me wants that. And this is why we do not manifest quickly or get what we want. Because when we are not totally congruent together with what we want, it is hard to get our brain, our body, our unconscious mind, all of the things we see, hear, feel, say to ourselves on board. So everything we do, right, everything we do, it's not, these things aren't right or wrong. It just fits into our values and your needs. So when somebody you know is doing things that you're like, why the heck do they do that? That's so weird. It fits into their values and their needs. So do you have values for you? Have you ever sat down and thought about your values? Have you? It's a really cool exercise. It's something we do in level two of our training. And it's something you can just do right now. We're going to do it today in this exercise in this workbook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read you what Dr. Alex and I came up for our values in business. And we made them into sentences because, you know, you see on the wall, it's like integrity in businesses, right? You're like, what does that even mean to them? So we actually created it in sentences. And as I read these sentences, I want you to think about what are yours. So our beliefs and our values, the greatest impact is achieved through alignment of the whole self. That's number one. Two, bringing authenticity and compassion to the journey of being human allows for powerful transformations. Number three, the abundance of money is feedback and a tool for the transformation you are facilitating. Four, courageous communication, not just any communication, but courageous communication leads to stronger relationships and more empowerment. Number five, very important to us, connection. Connection with community provides a safe space to grow and evolve. Number six, leads to growth. Growth and learning are the foundations of our evolution. And number seven, Flowing with ease and excitement leads to enjoying life you choose. 
So how did those sound to you? I want today, I want you for to write out your list of your top five value statements. We've been given advice before to help us grow our business, and it didn't meet our values, so we didn't do it. You know, if the advice comes from something that's like super scarcity, and this is in health as well, and we believe in abundance, though the advice would require us to hustle, and we believe in flow and ease. And yet sometimes, sometimes, you will violate your your values to meet your needs. This is important because you're like, why do I do some things sometimes that aren't even within my values? If all of a sudden we were lacking certainty in our life or really not feeling significant, we may start to do something that just doesn't really meet our values. We may all of a sudden just be like, oh, somebody else said we have to do X, Y, and Z, and I'm just going to post, and I'm just going to take that 10 supplements in this order, right? We may just start to follow things that we wouldn't have followed before. So the key is to stop and look. When you feel you're about to do something or make a decision that doesn't really meet your values and ask yourself, what needs are not being met? Which of my needs are not being met? Is it my need for certainty? Is it my need for variety and excitement? Is it my need for significance? Or what about connection or love or growth? And when you figure out what that is, you can go ahead and find another way to meet that need that does not require you violating your values. A little brainstorm session. We often see this common pattern of addiction to problems. So if you want to stay protected, for example, you want to protect your stories at all costs. Maybe the story is no one can figure me out. We had that one. My health is complicated. We had that one. I'm always sick. Whatever the story is, you can get your need for protection or significance met but not if you also want your other needs met. So ask yourself, is this really the best way to do it? Do you want to protect your story or feel significant because no one can figure you out? Or do you want to be significant because you are the one who chose a different path? Who chose to see the light when there was darkness all around? Who chose to question the status quo? And that idea of conventional. So there's always another way. There's always another path. And that's because we know that there are all the possibilities in the world. After all, this is the series of possibility, yes? So think about your values and your needs and what are being met. And we will end today with yet another story of possibility. Thanks for being here. Hi, I'm Diane. And more than a year ago, I took my first habit challenge with the Zesty Ginger team. And I honestly had no idea how life-changing it would be for me and how lasting that experience would be for me as well. It's incredible to think how much I've grown and changed and how much I'm continuing to grow and change into the person that I always knew that I could be and that I wanted to be. This stuff is <laughs> so incredible and it's really fun. And I'm, I'm so grateful that I've been able to do this work and that the things that they teach are sustainable and, and you can do it yourself. And it's just really powerful. Thanks for coming out to hang with us on the podcast. It is our goal to transform the way women are treated in healthcare. And we need your help. We need your help to get the word out. We have a lofty goal of 1 million downloads. And we know that as this podcast grows, we're going to be able to reach more women, get more amazing speakers for you, and bring the most cutting edge information. If you found these podcasts helpful, please take a moment to text five women you know the link to the series. We appreciate your help so much. Can't wait to see you next time.